river crossing. It was hard for the aged. It was hard for the young, being followed by death at the barrel of a gun. The river stood before them. They saw no way for it to cross. Such was their end of life and the terror it had brought. The line of souls ground to a halt. They stood in stoic silence, resigned to the destiny of life. Their songs of death were started. From the rear there came a warrior who had been guarding the band's back, for death on horseback was stalking them. They expected vengeful attacks. The rider had chosen a large and dark black beast. Something few had skills to do, others would take it from the meek. Caballo Negro, it was said, could ride faster than the wind and jump free of lightning striking an old and shrunken tree. The rider, too, was someone who could see the soldiers far, beyond the gaze of those around who looked at her in awe. Along the trail of withered souls, the horse slowly walked, giving pride to those who wailed their songs of death to come. She was a beauty. It was plain there were no warriors who would challenge her to a fight, for they would always lose. Those who chose to woo her eyes and take her for their first wife would quickly be put in place by the sharp edge of a knife. River wild and river wet, froth boiling like a stew, with hands of water reaching for the wet and weary few. She seemed to have no fear, she knew just what to do. The spirits had touched her young, with wisdom few others knew. Leg high into the air, silver chain hanging down, Ankle sparkled as it rose to touch the shoulder of her mount. Lightning striking all around, horse rising above all. Four legs flailing in the air, twice as tall as those not small. The brave animal had been surprised that she would send it through the torrent and the swift death there of water on the move. With her on its back, with her to guide its way, the stallion saw its chance to live quickly slip away. No choice did it have, no way to say no thanks, no way to stay on the bank where breath was easy at hand. Together as if just one, together they did ride into the deep and silvery tide of water on the rise. Those in the line saw that there was nothing else to do but follow bravely as she had done into the boiling brew. She rode against the stream, making progress in hard-pressed strides those that followed her managed to survive. Although the river quickly flowed, although its power grew, her power was quite strong, the path she took was true. She led them through a wider part, not deeper than the small, keeping spirits well in hand with her loud and ancient song. It was not a song of death, but of glory yet to come. When peoples far only she could see would hear her people's songs. (laughs) 